If you didn't know this area very well, you wouldn't want to be doing this. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna talk about special VFR, which as a reminder is when you're operating VFR, when the weather conditions are actually IFR, right? So we've got ceilings lower than 1,000 or visibilities less than three miles, and you need a clearance to go operate in that airspace VFR, staying clear of clouds and keeping at least one mile visibility. Now, one thing to remember about special VFR is that it is so hazardous, I won't say dangerous, but it is so hazardous that air traffic control is not allowed to offer it to pilots, which has led to some ridiculous things I've heard on the frequency, like air traffic controllers asking pilots if there's something special I can do for you. <laughs> but in any case, let's talk about when you might use it, right? Today I'm here at Nevada County Airport and um, it's, it's pretty widespread IFR conditions, so I wouldn't be out here operating special VFR in this environment. However, in the San Francisco Bay Area, we get something called the marine layer, which is advection fog that comes in every day in the summertime. And often you're standing on the airport and if you look left, you see severe clear. If you look right, you see clouds. So in those circumstances, we use special VFR all the time. And I'm gonna show you now how you get that clearance and um, how it all works. All right, you guys, we're here at the green ramp. We have information Romeo. Uh, we are at Hayward Executive Airport where the, where the weather is IFR today. Uh, it's 700 overcast, although if we were to do a downwind departure and head in the vicinity of Sanol intersection, uh, just being that this is my backyard and I can see the edge of the fog out there, I know that Livermore is reporting clear, I know where the terrain is. Uh, so we're going to ask Hayward if we can do an, uh, a special VFR departure. Now, it's really IFR here today, so we'll see what they say because if somebody's operating special VFR in the class Delta airspace, they cannot have other aircraft operating. So they kind of like let one person at a time do it. So we'll see how busy they are because if they have actual IFR arrivals, uh, we will likely have to wait. Hey, we're ground, Skyhawk 5218 Foxtrot, Green Ramp, uh, Romeo. Request taxi 28 left, uh, requesting left downwind departure special VFR, Sable. 5218 Foxtrot here, we're ground to standby, clearance on request. 5218 Foxtrot, roger. 5218 Foxtrot, what's your request? I was on the outside line getting another clearance. Uh, we'd like a left downwind departure, runway 28 left, special VFR. 5218 Foxtrot to maintain special VFR conditions while in the uh, Hayward class South airspace, left downwind departure approved below 1000. Departure bring C. Lead at the tower on 120.2 and stand by for a squawk. Okay, special VFR um, while in the class Delta air, uh, airspace at or below 1,000 feet and 120.2. Uh, 5218 Foxtrot. That's uh, 118 Foxtrot, just uh, squawk 1200. Squawk 1200, 5218 Foxtrot, request taxi to it left. Favorite tower, Skyhawk 5218 Foxtrot, ready for takeoff to a left at Alpha, special VFR. So 5218 Foxtrot, Hayward Tower, Roger, stand by. I'm just waiting on this uh, IFR departure to active airspace and I'll get you going. Okay, Roger that, we'll hold here, 5218 Foxtrot. All right, you guys, that's what I was saying about um, IFR, right? He's got some IFR departures that are actually trying to go somewhere IFR today and they're gonna get priority. And there can't be like some Yahoo like us going special VFR anywhere we want in that airspace while those aircraft are IFR. So yeah, it's, you know, we're gonna wait for them to go. Um, I heard it was like a five minute wait time for him. And um, yeah, now special VFR, we are technically operating in an IFR environment. Um, our IMC, you know, it's technically, that's well, not really IMC, but the, the weather is low enough that it would be, uh, it's the instrument flight rules. So the weather is below a thousand, below three miles visibility. Now we are just to stay clear of clouds. We can get right up on them, but we need one mile visibility and clear of clouds is the absolute minimum we can have. Now, to be clear, on a day like today, I've got tons of visibility. I don't know if I, I don't think I'd be going if I had one mile visibility. Um, I've got a marine layer over the top, so it's 700 overcast, but it's good visibility underneath the layer. I can see the terrain 
Um, so that all weighs into our decision to fly today. All right, Cessna 18 Foxtrot, make a right downwind departure and keep Cal State off your left. Runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Okay, clear for takeoff on 28 left. Uh, you want a right downwind departure, we'll keep Cal State off the left. 5218 Foxtrot. It's going to be a right downwind. We've got the compass heading, so we're going to say power set. Engine gauges are checked. Airspeed's alive, and there's 55. We're going to rotate. All right, we're supposed to stay at or below 1,000 and special VFR while in the class Delta airspace, right? There's our VY. You can see that there's pretty good visibility underneath the fog here, but it's just 700 overcast, right? Uh, I'm going to stop my climb here at 500, but I'm going to start my right turn now. Okay, there's our crosswind. You can see we're getting kind of close to the clouds. There's 500. I'm going to stop here. This is a uh, you know, 200 feet under the reported bases. That looks about right to me. Okay, so not as many emergency landing options when I'm flying this low. I still have the airport right off my right. And I don't know if you guys can see now, you can start to see the edge of that fog. If you didn't know this area very well, you wouldn't want to be doing this. So it's east, east pressure, temperature, vacuum, amps, lights are looking good. So there's some like minimum safe altitude issues to worry about. Um, you know, we're 500 feet here above this area, which is just fine. It's a, um, you know, I guess it would be other than congested area, like the suburbs, right? Okay, and here you can see our marine layers just kind of starting to break up. Just one eight Fox Trot advising the VFR conditions. I will go five two one eight Fox Trot. All right, you guys, boom, and there we go. Beautiful. Severe, clear, blue skies, VFR conditions. And here we're tower 5218 Foxtrot, VFR is starting our climb now. Test one Foxtrot, roger, frequency change approved. Thank you, frequency change approved, 5218 Foxtrot. There we go, guys. You can see the bases. I don't know if you can see the tops over here to the right. Just sort of looking, now we're just good old VFR. And you can see there's blue skies above. There's the top of that marine layer that we just sort of shot out from under. All right, you guys, let's do a special VFR arrival now. So we're going to call Hayward Tower. We're going to let them know we're one mile west of Niles Canyon. And then we're inbound uh, special VFR. Hayward Tower, Skyhawk 5218 Foxtrot, 2,000 feet, one mile west of Niles Canyon with Romeo. Inbound landing request special VFR clearance. Just my fire 20 Fox Rock Hayward Tower, you're cleared into the Delta airspace from the east, maintain special VFR at or below 1,000. Make straight in for runway 2 at left, and if you can, best forward speed to the, air, uh, to the airport. Okay, roger that. Cleared in special VFR at or below 1,000, uh, 2 8 left, and best forward speed to the airport, 5218 Fox Trot. All right, you guys, now going in this way is a little different. You really better know sort of your backyard. You better know where you're going. I don't know if you can see it. I can see the runway under the fog, uh, but I still have to get down there, right? This is um, it's not really a congested area in the sense that it's not like a downtown city. I don't have to stay 2,000 feet away from the highest obstacle within, or, you know, 1,000 feet above the highest obstacle within 2,000 feet of me. Uh, but it is sort of an other than congested area. It's the suburbs, and there's a few landing spots, but it's pretty thick. So I have to keep 500 feet above the surface here. Um, and I have to kind of slip under this little marine layer. Now, you know that the visibility is good underneath this marine layer. Um, I can see the runway from here, so it's really just a matter of getting underneath the bases of these clouds. Um, and again, I wouldn't be, <laughs> you know, here you're going toward the belly of the beast, so unless, you know, if I didn't know this area really well and wasn't confident about... Runway 2 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 left, 5218 Foxtrot. If I didn't know about all the power lines and the towers and everything else, I wouldn't be sort of sneaking in this way, special VFR. Um, I would just be flying an instrument approach to that runway, which would allow me to descend through these clouds, you know, in a stabilized way at my own leisure. All right, you guys, and this is it. We're, we're now officially underneath the bases of those clouds, so we are in an, uh, what would technically be an IFR environment. We're inside the Class Delta airspace, um, but we are operating special VFR.
All right, Aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to the patrons. Remember that there is tons of bonus content on Patreon. We are now filming the IFR course for our Ground School app, and sometimes little sneak peeks get posted up to Patreon, plus full-length lesson videos, Instagram Lives, monthly hangouts with me, and much, much more. All of that at patreon.com slash learntfp. A huge thanks to the sponsors. Remember that ForeFlight is the essential app for aviation online at foreflight.com and that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Please leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. But most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.